Bonjour, Anine. Salam alaikum to my colleagues in the international community. I hope wherever you are, you are safe, you are well, and I wish the same for your loved ones. COVID-19 is the most serious public health crisis Canada has ever faced. It has laid bare fundamental gaps in our society and disproportionately impacted those who were already marginalized, vulnerable, or struggling. La pandémie de la COVID-19 est la plus grave crise de santé publique à laquelle le Canada ait jamais été confronté. Et la mise en évidence des lacunes fondamentales dans notre société et a un impact disproportionné sur les personnes qui sont déjà marginalisées, vulnérables et en difficulté. Women have faced steep job losses and many have bravely served on the front lines of this crisis in our community. They've carried the burden of unpaid care work at home and they've also seen and been impacted disproportionately by increases in rates of gender-based violence and violence against women. This International Women's Day, we salute the women on the front lines of the fight against COVID. We acknowledge all the ways that women, particularly racialized women, have been hardest hit by COVID. Here in Canada, we invite applications to our $100 million Feminist Response and Recovery Fund. And on Women's Day, we begin a virtual two-day summit focused on Canada's feminist response and recovery. Our government will continue to work with strong feminists to create 1 million jobs and to improve the health and safety outcomes for all women. From the start, Canada's response to the pandemic has been informed through a feminist intersectional lens to ensure we support those who need it most. In partnership with feminist grassroots organizations, we've been able to ensure that over 1,500 organizations across the country are able to keep their doors open, to keep their staff paid, as the most vulnerable women and children in our country seek their supports in their hour of need while escaping violence and abuse. I wanna give special thanks to every single partner who in those early days of the pandemic picked up the phone, answered our texts, answered our questions about where we ought to focus. We could not have been able to lead with that intersectional gendered lens had it not been for our partnership with you. We will continue to rely on that partnership. While addressing inequalities here in Canada, we recognize the need to support the global efforts as well. My honorable colleague, Karina Gould, our Minister for International Development, and I are co-leading the Generation Equality Forum Action Coalition on feminist movements and leadership. We're investing more than $6 billion in international assistance at, through our feminist international assistance policy. And we look forward through the UN Commission on the status of women this year to learn more from what our uh, colleagues around the world are doing to respond to COVID, to learn from you, and look forward to the day when we can all come together at that very special place and never again take for granted our opportunities to do the mobilizing and the convening that those who have come before us have benefited from. Take good care, everyone. Be safe.